Uh, hi, I'm, I'm here at the uh, Segret 2013 Partner Conference here and I've managed to get Erin uh, Farrigan, the Executive Vice President uh, of Segret here. And Erin, uh, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. And uh, I was hoping you, uh, you might be able to start by giving us a little bit of background to Asegra. Sure. Uh, Asegra is a 27-year-old uh, software company based in Toronto where we are today. And um, since inception, it's always been focused on uh, making backup recovery software, specifically for cloud backup and recovery. And um, the company works with hundreds of service providers all over the world. And it has, um, there's over a million sites protected with the Seagrass technology today. And uh, the technology is uh, on all six continents where business gets done. And um, yeah, it's a successful, it's ranked on the, the Gartner Magic Quadrant with Forrester, with IDC. Pretty much all the industry analysts and pundits cover Asegra and follow what it's doing in the marketplace. It's known as a very innovative company. It always does a lot of things first in the market that other companies kind of pick up on and then, uh, and then emulate. So um, yeah, it's, uh, that's a little bit about Asegra. Additionally, we're seeing uh, a large growth, particularly in, in, in data. Uh, in the enterprise market, they're, they're facing some significant challenges that are different to the, to the consumer or SMB market. What kind of things and challenges are enterprises facing? Right, so the enterprises that we talk to and that our partners are talking to um, are facing a variety of different types. It's not only data growth, although I think that that's the number one challenge that they have. Uh, they just have, the, the amount of data that they're generating is unabated. It's growing unabated and uh, it creates more pressure on them to manage it. I think uh, equally they're, they're facing manageability problems. So how do I manage all this data? How do I classify it? And when I lose it, how do I recover it within the pace that my business is operating at? So because their customers expect them to be online 24 seven. So they need to recover it very quickly. Other challenges that mid-market and enterprise customers are facing are things like compliance and data sovereignty. So mid-market and enterprise customers in some cases have businesses outside their home countries and their home countries have compliance uh, uh, rules and regulations that they must follow and sometimes data sovereignty is a challenge for them. Um, so that's, yeah, that would be another thing. I think finally, um, security is a big challenge for enterprises because of bring your own device uh, phenomenon coming into play. The data, the corporate data, is just extended in so far out and wide, and that makes the enterprises very fearful about um, it. Ex feels exposed. They feel like there's so much more data to lose. It's sitting not in the corporate data center anymore. It's sitting. A lot of it is outside the corporate data center. Uh -huh. There are countless of examples of lawsuits, very public ones, and you know privacy matters that have been breached. And I think this was this is really what we think that, uh, or what we see that enterprise customers um, are faced with today. So you know we're building technology, and we've built technology to address those things. And um, that technology is delivered into the into the enterprise marketplace through our partners. Terrific. Mm. Now, Asegra is a, is a leader in uh, in cloud to cloud backup. Now. It's a new kind of term. What is right. cloud to cloud backup? And, and what should businesses be, be thinking about in regards to, to data management with that? Right, right. It, it is a new term. Uh, C to C or cloud to cloud backup absolutely, absolutely is a new term. And the term is really coined for uh, customers that are leveraging cloud services. So for example, in Australia, it's a very well developed cloud uh, uh, ecosystem of, of cloud services and mm -hmm. cloud service providers and applications. And as mid-market and enterprise customers shift more and more data into clouds, clouds like Google Apps, clouds like Salesforce.com, as more and more of that data gets shifted there, um, the challenge they have is that the burden of responsibility and the management of the backup and recovery of that data does not shift to the cloud uh, SaaS provider. Mm -hmm. It remains with the enterprise. So how then does the, does the enterprise IT department continue to manage the data that they've always had done for on-premise because the same rules and compliance and regulations still apply to them, the same burden of responsibility exists even though they shift the data into the clouds. A lot of enterprise customers think that just because I move data into Google Apps, for example, that's it, I don't have to back it up. You know, Google backs it up for me. Right. Well, Google does not back it up for you. You're still on the hook for it. When it gets lost and your users delete it maliciously or unintentionally, um, you're still responsible for it. So cloud to cloud backup is a new term, but it's one that over the next 10 years or so will become very, very important. And um, you know, increasingly enterprises will have to make sure that their backup regimens 
and uh, land and uh, estates include the protection of cloud-based data. Well, Aaron, it's been a pleasure to, to talk with you today and thanks for making the time and uh, we look forward to a great future together. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron.